Hello grade 6 and welcome to the first unit of this science course which is introduction to matter and solids, liquids and gases. In your first unit you will be having two topics. Topic 1 which is introduction to matter including describing and classifying matter, measuring matter, changes in matter. As for topic two, solids, liquids, and gases, states of matter, changes of state, gas behavior. Concepts to know for this unit is key concept, change, related concept, energy, form, global context, scientific, and technical innovation. The statement of inquiry for this unit Investigating and comparing changes of matter, form, and energy would allow innovation of products throughout human history. The first topic of this unit is Introduction to Matter. Our first lesson is describing and classifying matter. We will first get introduced to the terms matter and substance as meaning, and then we will be able to differentiate between two properties which are physical and chemical. And then we will have the components of matter. It can be atom, element, molecule, and compound. And then we have two types of mixtures, heterogeneous mixtures and homogeneous mixtures. We will know what each mixture means and we will give examples of each mixture. Moving on to the next lesson, which is measuring matter. Since we have measuring, it means that we will use mathematical calculations. First, we will get to know the meaning of mass, volume and weight. We will know the units of each terminology and we will know how to convert from one unit to the other and then we will understand the term density so we can measure density using calculations. There is a special formula for it which is density equal mass over volume. We will be given the mass and the volume and we will calculate, we will divide them to know the density and we will uh, know the unit of the density and then we will know what factors affect density and in what ways we use density. Moving on to the last lesson of topic one which is changes in matter. We know that there is physical change and chemical change. We will know more about the physical change, what is physical change, how it happens, what are some examples of it, what's the difference between it and chemical change, so we will know what chemical change is and give examples of it. And then there is the term conserved, we will know how mass is conserved. And also there are two new things we will learn, which is energy, and its relationship with matter. So if there is a relationship between thermal energy and temperature and the relationship between thermal energy and change in matter. On to topic two, which is solids, liquids, and gases. We have moving on to the first lesson of the second topic, which is states of matter we will get introduced to the three states of matter. We have three states of matter, which are solids, liquids, and gas. We will take each one separately, starting off with describing all properties of solids. How is the particle of a solid formed? What are the physical properties of a solid and examples of it? Moving on to liquids. How are the particles of a liquid formed? What are the physical properties of a solid and examples of it? And lastly, we will talk about the gases, how the particles are formed, and what are the physical properties of gas. Moving on to the next lesson of topic two, which is changes of state. We already know that there are three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. These three states 
we can change between them according to specific things. So first of all, we will get to, uh, to know the terms thermal energy and temperature. And then we will move on to the change between them. We will learn how we can change from solid to liquid. And then how we can change from liquid to gas. And we will learn how to change solid to gas. So we will learn how we can change between each state. And what do we call this change? Like if we want to change from solid to liquid, this is called melting. Or maybe from liquid to solid, this is called freezing. So we will get to learn how the change of state happens and what do we call it. On to the last lesson in uh, topic two, which is gas behavior. We will be introduced to the term pressure. We will be focusing on how gas behaves and how it changes and uh, what relationship it has between temperature and volume through the first law, which is Charles' law, and then the relationship between temperature and pressure through Boyle's law. Moving on to this unit activities, first of all, we will be having two labs for this unit. The first lab is modeling atoms and molecules, which is a very interesting lab where we use foam balls and toothpicks to model different molecules. As for the second lab, Mirror Mirror will talk about the change of state from liquid to gas. Once you use the bathroom and you're showering and there's hot water, and when you go out, you see on the mirror there is fog. So how did the state change from liquid to gas? We will get to see this in the lab. As for skills that will be gained from this unit, we will have research and organizational skills. For research, you will be asked to do a paragraph that summarizes the three states of matter and what you concluded from this lesson. As for the organization skills, since we have a lot of things to compare, we will compare between physical and chemical properties using a graphic organizer. As well, we will have a lot of discussion, group discussions about different questions during the unit. And we will also have a lot of interactive uh, activities through SAVAS. Also, we will have worksheets to solve about density, how to calculate it, about the change of states and matter. Thank you so much, sixth grade. Good luck in this unit. Study hard and remember, if you need anything, you can come and ask. I'm always here to help. Thank you so much.